hi guys welcome back to the channel um good afternoon it is thursday afternoon it's 2 p.m exactly 2 p.m i'm here i'm here washing diamonds toys um i'm preparing for a big adventure i started talking about it yesterday um i dropped that in I'm here walking. I'm going on an errand and I'm feeling so anxious. Oh my goodness, I'm making a big decision. And it has caused me, well, I'm not, it's not bad anxiety. It's just that I'm wondering what's gonna be the end result. But I trust God and my heart was My heart was at um, this place that I'm getting the opportunities to go. It's gonna take me away from family, but it's gonna give me an earning power and I need that right now. Um, sometimes in life we have to make sacrifices. I was saying to the kids that it's just the same way our soldiers have to leave their families and go out to war or um, persons, other persons, you have traveling nurses too, they have to leave their children, you have other teachers, um, oh my goodness, who have to leave their family, so it's not because I want to, but I just have to make a choice, and I have my family's interest at art, it might seem selfish, but I honestly have my family's interest at art. I want the best for them. So, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to go to get the bus and it's coming. This is crazy. Ooh. Yeah, so I'll tell you more about it. I'll tell you more. I just took out the phone to talk to try and ease the tension because I was feeling so anxious. <laughs> I actually shouldn't be walking and doing this, but the, but I'm safe. Yeah, I'm making a very, very big step, a very huge step. Uh, I thank God for the husband that I have, and God knows why He blessed me with him, because He's not the kind of person who is going to stop me from tracing my dreams even if it means that I'm not gonna be with him and I mean every husband want their wife beside them but he understands and he's willing to give me the chance to explore and to go and I thank God for that hmm. I mean I'm actually I wouldn't say risking my life but I'm taking a lot of risk doing this because I'll be taking my beautiful princess with me wherever I'm going Woo. I have very short time to make the plans because the opportunity just came up and I decided, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's 9.27. Ooh. All right, you know what? Let me end it here. I'll come back. So yes, I need to get back to work and um, we have made a big decision to go. I'm going back to my work on the reserve. Um, when I left them, I left suddenly and um, like I said in a, in a previous channel that the, in a previous episode of our vlog that they were so kind and generous to me when I was leaving that I feel as though I hold them at least, at least, I'm not saying this is the only at least another school year and funny enough it was february 2021 i left and i'm going back february 2023 yeah it's a big decision to make because i believe in the family again i'm taking diamond with me with faith i'm trusting god that she will find everything will work out i'm taking diamond with me and doing and um that dominic will be staying back it's not my desire to leave them 
honestly family should be together but you know soldiers have to leave their family missionaries leave their families i remember when we we're back home farm workers used to leave their children to go because it's about living we have to live we have to survive so whatever it is and i like working there i like working there of course every job comes with its challenges but i like working there it's fulfilling for me i think i'm very happy when i'm there the place is beautiful the sunset i love the sunset the sunrise it's just beautiful and it's just different it's a different way of life maybe that's how god created me because i'm to like nature i love nature so i don't mind being there yeah, so I'm here from morning. I've been so nervous. I've not eaten. It's after two. I'm not on fasting, but it's that so I don't have any appetite. I have so many other things doing, and I'm, I know that I'm hungry, but I can't even eat. You know that those feelings. You know I've done certain things, but like I said, I have faith in God because He opened up this door. It was one of the things I prayed for while I was in my fast. This was one of the things I prayed for, and immediately as my fast was done. I heard that there was um vacancy there. A matter of fact, there are more than there are three vacancies there, but um I can only fill one. So I'm going by faith and I'm taking my baby. So I'll be vlogging more while I'm there. Hopefully, I hope there are no laws against it because like I told you, it's a reserve, it's a small community. So there might be laws, I'm not sure, but I'll find out so that I don't break any laws while I'm there. Um, I won't show you their business, just mine. <laughs> yeah, but it's an adventure, I'm telling you. The, the, just traveling there is an adventure. But I, I'll show you more of it. My, my big drawback though is the fact that I have to be taking Diamond. Um, it's the first time I'm traveling there with a baby. I don't know what it's going to be like. But that's life. I didn't know what it was going to be like when I was leaving Jamaica to come to Canada. And I've been surviving. God has been with me. So he's going to be with me. I trust him. I trust him. I know it's hard for Duane and Dominic, especially with Diamond. I know it's going to be hard for her not physically seeing her daddy because she loves him and her brothers and her, her niece because she loves them. But that's okay. It's life. We will be fine and we will unite. I won't be there forever. I'll come back and, and return. So you'll, you'll see along the journey how it goes. Yeah, but I just thought I'd share it with you because I was here feeling so... Not, not, not a bad kind of nervous. Just thinking about the many things I need to get in place before I leave. Because it's a short notice and I don't want to stretch the time out. I want to leave. I'm actually going to Winnipeg first. <laughs> So I'm gonna go to Winnipeg and then from Winnipeg to the reserve. Yes, adventure. I love the adventure though. I love flying. Like my mom was saying that she should come to visit me here before I leave. But I was saying, why not come on the reserve? Then you you wouldn't be able to just talk about your daughter working on a reserve. You could say you visited the reserve where your daughter worked. It's adventurous, believe me. Um, I tell people, like I remember the first year I went. I wanted to run back home. I was it was not what I was expecting. But when during the interview they told me that if you stick out the one year, eventually you will go back. And it's true because when I realized that I survived that first year, I'm like, what else could it really come that I can't manage? So I'm going back to my work. I'm happy. I'm happy to be going back. But like I said, there are reservations because I'm taking diamond and the place is very cold. It gets way below. Right now, the other day, I, I saw it was minus 30 up there. And don't judge me. I'm not wicked for taking her. Other babies live there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Many babies live there. So she'll survive just like them. Yeah, man. It's all about life and the decisions we have to take, the decisions we have to make. And thank God, like I said, my husband is understanding. I'm just praying that everything will work out fine with me being there and them being here but you'll hear more thank you for stopping by i just wanted to do this little video so thank you for stopping by um please like share subscribe because it's going to be quite adventurous i think so subscribe and follow me and see what's happening with diamond now it's going to be more diamond than mom like the original title i said 
but that's okay until we come back here it's already mostly diamond and mom or mostly mom already but thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing thank you so much for the support if you drop by and watch it thank you and just remember to share okay bye